Hi guys, it's John. I've been asked a bunch of questions about how you transition into descent mode when you're double rope technique climbing or moving rope system. And so what I've uh, rigged up here in the front yard is just an old school closed system, a continuous rope with a Blake's hitch. A lot of people uh, still climb on this. Um, and you, you guys are aware, here's my primary friction hitch. It's the Blake's hitch on the other side. Some guys will tie a tending knot and that's completely fine. I just uh, took my extra slack and, and tied a bowline in it as my stopper knot. You could use a figure eight or anything else, but very old school. So to move up, a lot of guys will pull on this and slide. Uh, some people put a foot loop where you can even engage your foot. Okay, and so what I want to talk about now is how to, is to go into descent mode. And, and this uh, video, it doesn't have to be Blake's hitch. Um, this being the static side of your rope, and this being your tail, and this being the moving side, you could be using any friction knot in the world here. I tend to use a Bachman knot, for example. But my point is, when you come down, I don't like the idea of only having your friction knot engaged in the descent. I like to engage a Munter friction hitch. And the other point is, different knots, different friction knots you may experiment with have different properties when you break them under load. Some are easy to break under load. Some of them, as soon as you break them, you slide. Blake's can, that can happen with Blake's hitch. Uh, the one I tie, uh, climb with, which is the Bachman, has a tendency to bind and you can't break it under load. So I wanna give you a little trick here for how to engage a Munter friction hitch for the descent and it'll work with any kind of uh, moving rope system or doubled rope technique. Okay, so with this end of the line, we're gonna tie a Munter friction hitch. Now we do that with an extra beaner that's somewhere on our system. So it could be here. Uh, I tend to actually have a redundant bridge on my system and that's kind of my favorite way. So I'm gonna demonstrate it that way. But this beaner could be anywhere on the system that is, uh, you know, life supporting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now and, and is tie a Munter friction hitch. Now, that's really easy to tie. I'm not gonna spend time teaching you how to tie that knot uh, since you can learn that online. But I'll engage that. It's always done with a locking beaner and it's very important when you engage a Munter that the, the, the tail headed down to the ground is on the spine end and not on the gate end of your beaner. Okay, so now I'm ready to transition into descent mode. I take all the slack out of this that I can. And now I engage like an old fashioned foot loop here, okay? So with this hand, I'm just simply gonna apply some pressure. And as I do so, I've now unloaded my Blake's. Now, again, this could be any knot in the world. So at this stage in the game that I've got this broken, I focus my attention on this knot. And now I simply tend slack into the munter while tending the blakes. If any point during the descent I want to stop, I'm good to stop. Restarting, however, you might want to use your foot again to restart that. Just enough pressure to break that and then tend slack in. And the other trick about the munter is you can experiment with the way you feed the line in can greatly decrease, increase the amount of friction and decrease the amount of spin in the rope. I tend to do it like this. You can do one-handed operation and come down nice and slowly. Don't put too much friction or too much burn or too much heat. All right, you guys, good luck.